there is so much to celebrate in your life. There are so many joyous things. Yes. But I would be remiss if I didn't oh. give you a little piece of my heart and let you know you've been on my mind. We've been thinking about you and Janelle and the entire family this year with the loss of Garrison. Thank I wanna you. celebrate his legacy. I wanna make sure that we keep his memory alive. Yes. And I wanna know how you're doing. Ugh. It's heartbreaking. It's the hardest thing ever, and no mom should bury their child. You know, it's, um, I keep, we have pictures of him everywhere, and we got back from his, um, his services, and there's pictures of him at our wedding. And I'm like, what are we supposed to do? Do I want to see him every day, knowing that he's not with us? But then I realize I'm just going to have to embrace that pain, because it's never going to go away. It's always going to be, there's always going to be a garrison-sized hole, and it's hard. It's hard to fill it up with tears, you know, and then absorb the tears and move on for another day. Yeah. It's the most difficult thing ever, and thank you. Always, thank always. You. We have thought about you guys oh. every day this year. It's crazy. It's how, so sad. How is our girl, our queen, I know. Janelle, holding yeah. up? Um, good day. It's not even a good day and a bad day. It's an okay day until you remember, and then it gets really, really hard. I was gonna say, is it is it yes, memories or stories all the time. that you share? It's pictures and stories, and if we had a birthday, a, a graduation for Savannah here, and Garrison came, and I forgot he was here, and I was looking through pictures, and he's goofing off with Savannah right there behind you in the kitchen, and then he's goofing off with Peyton right here on the couch. So I have memories of him everywhere in this home. And it's just remembering those and seeing the picture, and I always send them to everybody. I'm like, look more pictures, and we have a, a flash, a, a drive, that we all just put all of the photos on. And I gave her like an electronic photo things, and I just load them up on her cube, and. I love that. So yeah, if you're ever having like a, I want to, I want to be with Garrison moment, you can just go and look at that drive. So we planted a tree. It's called Sedona Midnight, which would have been his stripper name if he decided to be a stripper. <laughs> so it's Sedona Midnight. Did you choose and that name? No, he did. He so chose he that. Did, yeah, he did this Instagram <laughs> post one time. He used to be a photographer, and he took this picture of Sedona, and it was beautiful. And he's like, "This is Sedona Midnight," and then in parentheses, or in, oh, you know, geez. he's like, "It would have been my stripper name if I was a stripper." <laughs> So when he passed, I thought the best thing I could do was be to honor with a, a tree and that we could all sit under. So it's a Louisa flowering willow. So eventually she'll get really, really big and strong and her branches will overflow. And when you want to spend time with Garrison, you can just go sit with Sedona Midnight. That is so beautiful and it's touching. Good, huh? And I love I love that you and I just went from like tearing up to yes. now we have huge smiles on our faces. Well, we and have to. We're giggling. Yeah. And I'm curious because you do make TV for a living. <laughs> yeah. For any Sister Wives fans who want to tune into the show to grieve and celebrate yes. Garrison's legacy. Mm -hmm. What would you like to say to them about how maybe the show in the future, if it was up to you, you would explore it? I'd say let's leave the show and instead if someone is struggling, don't wait to call them. And if someone is really having a hard time with alcoholism, with mental issues, call them. It's not a text. Or you go visit them. And you spend time with the people that you love. Instead, that that's what he would want, is the legacy needs to carry on where we talk about suicide and we talk about things that are hard. And you have real conversations with people that you love. And let's stop this. Yeah. Oh, and get them the help they need.